hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be condensing some of the items that i have inside my makeup kit and i have 35 of these l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundations and i really like using these and again i have 35 of these um i don't even know why i brought that many but i caught them on sale so I just said why not and at first I had them inside of these glass vials and I got these glass vials off of Amazon and I think they came in a pack of like 50 for about $13.99 and so they was working for me for a while until I dropped one and then it just burst and it was a done deal so I labeled it, I put the numbers on the top, the number of the foundation on the top, and the name of the foundation around the bottle. But this is what the problem I was running into. Do you see how the foundation is just all around the top? I just had to continue to just clean that off and it was just getting too much of a hassle. So that's why I'm looking and I was looking into another bottle to put my foundations in and I mean all around edges um, the foundation was spilling out and again it was working for me for a while but it's just not you know feasible for me so that's why in this video I'm getting ready to switch up the bottles so right here in this video, I accidentally shook the table and you see my my bottle fell. And that is what happened when I was using the foundations and I hit the table before and the bottle fell on the ground and it burst. So it's time to switch up. So I got these um, plastic bottles. I think they're like 15 milli milligrams, no milliliters. Um, I'll list everything in the description box below um, but they come 30 in a pack and I believe for like $13.99 um, every now and then on Amazon it the prices change so it went from $13.99 then I reordered some more it was $11.99 so just check that out but this is how it looks and it's squeezable it's a little hard but not too hard but you can squeeze it And I like how they come individually wrapped. And this is the top. And it's a flip top. And it's pretty secure too. So I'm going to take again my foundations and I'm going to take them out of these glass vials and put them inside of there and look at the difference so I'll be saving a lot of space in my makeup kit so this is my setup so I got everything laid out so I won't have to get up and get things you know while I'm getting ready to get started so yes this is my layout and this is my label maker I love this label maker I've had this label maker seriously for about 10 years and it's still going strong and that's my alcohol and here's my scissors that I'm gonna need and I got there you go the foundation that I had in a glass vial I put the name and the number on the sides and on the top so that I could see it perfectly from my makeup kit so I just printed out the number of the foundation and I'm just gonna cut that out and I'm gonna place that on top of the cap 
so that when I place it inside my makeup kit, I'll easily know which number foundation is what. Now, I mean, this is very tedious, but I'm telling you, I promise you, if you just take your time and get your makeup kit organized and condensed, you will find that you're able to move through your jobs so much easier. So now I'm just transferring all my foundations into these new bottles and when you keep transferring your foundations and stuff like that into new bottles you do lose some product so as you can see once I get finished um, I'm going to have to repurchase some of these bottles because I didn't get very much out of them and plus I did use a lot of these shades a lot. But this is what would happen every single time I would use this type of packaging. Like I would have to clean off the mess before I even put the top back on. And that was a little time consuming. So now I'm going to take my label maker again and I'm just going to print the shade of the foundation and I'm going to put that on the outside of the bottle as well. Sometimes I just like to double label my um, foundations because when I do it at the top, it's, again, it's easier to see inside my makeup kit and then when I pull them all out and I do color matching, the shade names are there, so I like to see which shade names I'm working with. So I'll just look on the side of the bottle as the bottle is sitting on my station. So I'm just going to continue this process.
And again, I had some of the bottles still remaining at home, so I'm just gonna refill this one. And I love the opening sides of this cap. It is super big, so it's easy for the foundation to be refilled. And right here, I'm just showing you, I took the top back off because on each one of these um, bottles, I just also like to spray some alcohol and I like to clean the opening part of my bottle just to keep everything neat and clean and sanitary. Because sometimes when I get to the end of the foundation that's inside the bottle, I like to open it and you know scoop out as much product as I can with my spatula. And um, yeah, so I just like to keep the openings really nice and clean. And then once I refill, I like to shake it up and just mix it all in so that the foundations can, you know, fuse together. So this is what all my foundations look like freshly depotted in these new plastic bottles and the glass ones. This is what I was using before and now again here I have them inside of my plastic bottles. Now I'm going to take and condense my makeup kit as well. Um, I used to carry you know my alcohol my cinema secrets brush cleaner water like not this big bottle of water i just have it here just to show you what i'm depotting but i used to have just a bottle of water in my kit and that was just too much um so i'm just gonna depot them inside of these spray bottles and these spray bottles are so good i think they are one ounce spray bottles and i got them off of amazon as well Now, I wasn't carrying my things inside of these bottles. Um, well, I wasn't carrying them. First of all, wait a minute. That's the top. It had a good opening. That's the pump. And now I'm getting ready to refill. I meant, you know, pour my product inside the bottles. But I didn't carry my products inside of the, you know, that big Cinnamon Secrets bo bottle and the big... 70% alcohol bottle like I wasn't carrying it like that I had them in regular spray bottles but they were like the real mini size and I'll show you that later what size I had them in before and what I ran into the problem I ran into was um when I was on set I would you know use it and I'm like ooh, a couple sprays and I'm almost finished so I went on Amazon and I brought the one ounce size bottles so that it could last me longer and I didn't want out I didn't want to run out too soon so I'll show you the, the comparison of those bottles in a bit so now I'm just taking my label maker again and I'm putting a label around the base of the spray bottle and then I'm gonna label the top as well
So I just put Cinema for short on the top so that I can see in my kit that this is Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. But then I put the full name around the base of the bottle so I'll know exactly what it is. And I did the same thing for my Beauty So Clean sanitizer, my water, I put H2O. And then for my 70% alcohol, I just put 70%. My Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, I just put Cinema. And yes guys, so now that that is finished, now I'm gonna be depotting um, some of my skincare products. And I'm gonna start off with the Kiehl's facial cream this is a good moisturizer that I like using on my clients and so what I'm gonna do is I'm taking an eyebrow stick and I am just going to scoop it up and put it in there just like this little by little again the opening size of the bottle is nice and it's just easy for me to transfer my creams inside of there using a stick so that's how much i got out of this 28 milliliter size facial cream i was able to get it uh, like most of it inside of this bottle So instead of carrying that big jar, now I have it in this nice size tube. And guys, everybody condenses and labels their products differently. And this is just what works for me. And I tried many different techniques and many different ways to see how I could make moving through my kit um, a little more easier and accessible. And this right here by far has been the best for me. So I've been using this um, technique for a while now and I really am loving it so let me know if you guys do the same let me know how it works for you if you do something different let me know in the comment section below um, I like to hear some of you guys tips and tricks and things that works for you So I got all of these things depotted. And then I'm just gonna go off camera and I'm gonna put all the labels on it. And I went from carrying all of that to just condensing it down to those little jars. And now I'm on to my setting powders. I was carrying around all of these setting powders as well. And if you could see, I had them all labeled in the front. So I would, I would lay them face up in my kit so that I can see the shade names. So now I just decided to just go ahead and depot it. So I'm just cutting a little hole inside of this little mesh packaging in this Huda Beauty um, setting powder 
and it's very very thick like it is very thick so just make sure you be careful and take your time when you're cutting through this so I'm just cutting a little circle and yes I already did sanitize my scissors before I went in and did this and I'm just cutting a little circle and that's how I'm going to get the powder out I'm gonna take my little stick again and I'm just going to refill, fill up this bottle. And again, it takes time and it's a little tedious, but I'm telling you, once you get this all done, you are gonna be so grateful you had went this route. And that's the size of the opening again. And it's so easy for me to put the products in there. So what I like to do is I like to put a paper towel on the top and I'll just tap the bottle on the table so that I can get more powder inside. But you wanna leave a little bit of room at the top so that the powder can at least spray out, squirt out and squeeze out when it's time for you to use it because if it's too jam packed at the top it's going to be hard trying to get it out just by squeezing it so then you'll probably have to take the top off and tap some of the powder out so just make sure you leave yourself a little bit of space at the top And if you don't cover this while you're tapping it, you're gonna have a big powdery mess everywhere. And look, I have so much product left in this container. And I just didn't wanna lug around all these containers knowing that I don't need that much product all at once. So again, just make sure you clean everything in your kit. I mean, presentation is everything. Your clients, they're looking at the things you have. They're looking at your makeup kit. They're looking at how clean it is, how sanitary it is. Because I mean, they're trusting us to be performing with clean products. So just, I just encourage you to just please keep everything as clean, neat, and tidy as you possibly can because that just shows professionalism. So I got all of my powders into the bottles. And now I am going to transfer some of my setting sprays into the spray bottles as well and I had all of these in very large sizes and then I went out to the stores and I brought the mini sizes but I just wanted to want everything to look uniform inside my makeup kit so I'm gonna put everything inside of the spray bottles as well And believe it or not, it does save some space. So I just took my Evian facial spray and I'm just spraying it inside this bottle to get it inside of there. So you can take some of your aerosol sprays and you can just spray it inside of your bottle.
so that is how that look and guys this is what I condensed on the left side into these bottles on the right side so I was lugging around all of this stuff and I mean it wasn't bad but I just wanted it to be a little more condensed and keep in mind I had a lot more foundations so now this is how everything is and I'm gonna place it inside my kit thank you guys so much for watching